you want to get Raspberry, a Raspberry Pi working with uh, the Linux OS and get going with your programming. So uh, first step is to download uh, the Raspberry Pi OS. It was formerly called Raspbian. Um, here is the website. I've already gone to it. Uh, you've got a couple choices here. What I recommend that you start with is this one. Um, this has all the software on it. It's the, it's the larger image, um, but it's the way to go. So you download the zip. It's going to come down onto your computer, and I've already downloaded it over here on my computer, and it's in my downloads folder. It's called 2020-0820 Rasp iOS, Rasp OS Buster Arm H F full image. So um, once I unzip it, because when I when you download it's a zip file, once I unzip it, or your web browser might automatically unzip it, you're going to want to uh, burn it onto a USB, not a USB memory stick, but an SD card. Um, those little tiny cards that you would put in your smartphone or in um, in, your, in a camera or a smart tablet or whatnot. Now the way you can do it, there's a variety of different ways. You can use uh, old school tools, you can use Etcher. Uh, if you follow their installation guide, they're going to suggest that you use the Raspberry Pi Imager. It's a tool that they have for their own uh, tools. And I've got that downloaded and installed on my Mac. And so let's try using that. So I'll double click that. And you're going to get prompted to choose an OS. If you don't want to pre-download the file, you can actually download other versions in live inside this program onto your computer, and it will burn it onto the onto the memory stick. I've already downloaded, so I'm going to use uh, custom. Select the custom image from your computer. And the reason I, I want to do this is I want to show you that it's possible so that if if you find a custom image that you want to use or you want to share a custom image, you'd know that you can use this tool to burn it. So I select use a custom image. I then locate that image file. So I'm in my downloads folder and here is the same file. This is the file on my downloads over here and this is the same file. I'm selecting that. Now comes the scary part. I have to choose the right place to burn it to. I've got a number of different disks attached to my computer and I want to select the right one. I have put into my computer a Samsung 32 gigabyte uh, memory card that's inside of a generic reader. So I'm pretty sure it's this one because the rest of them are too big. And they say Western Digital for some of them and Apple and Ultra Time Machine. No, so it's this one. It's 32 gigabytes, so I select it. And this is where I need to decide that I want to write it. So I'm going to click Write. And here's our last chance. You, you sure you want to go on because we're going to erase everything on that, on that uh, chunk of memory. So uh, yes, I'm sure. I've double checked this. I'm pretty darn sure. And because we're doing something serious, I have to type in my password. And now we wait for uh, the image to write. And now is the great, uh, best opportunity to reach down and grab your cat. Cats really love it when you're burning images to memory sticks. So if you start burning an image and you start hearing meows, it's because they know you're burning a memory stick with an image and they want to get in on the action. So once it's finished writing, it's then going to go through a process where it's going to verify what it just wrote. So uh, this process will take roughly half the time it took to write. So you just got to be patient because it wants to make sure that it was able to write the entire image out to your little um, SD card. All right, so we're almost done verifying it. And as soon as it, finished verifying, it, it finishes verifying the, uh, the memory stick, the operating system I'm using a Mac here, but you might be using Windows, won't recognize the card. And at this point, it's going to, the Raspberry Pi imager will eject it. Um, but if you get a message saying the operating system doesn't recognize it, don't format it. Just ignore it and eject that, uh, the, eject the memory card or the memory card reader, whatever you're using. And now it's ready to go. So I'm going to click continue. It's all done. I'm going to pop it out of my computer and... Here we go. I've got my little memory card ready to go. And our next step is to put it inside a Raspberry Pi and get that Raspberry Pi up and running with our development tools.